going to do the uh, the management poll at this time. Uh, we're still working the the weather issue associated with the uh, uh, the, the shower related clouds, and uh, and because of that, we will be holding at five minutes. Uh, but uh, understand that the that, that your poll, the launch team, gave a go with the exception of uh, the range, and of course that's associated with uh, the weather also. So I'll conduct the management poll at this time. Payload operations director. Payloads are go, Bob. All right, copy. Engineering director. Uh, Bob, engineering's go. Copy, Bob. Safety and quality director. Safety and quality go, Bob. All right, copy. And weather is uh, currently no go with the uh, with the cloud situation. Uh, ops manager, launch director. You cleared the launch, Bob. All right, copy. Thank you. Okay, NTD, you have a, a go to proceed, uh, and we will hold at uh, minus five minutes to uh, uh, to continue to work the weather issue, which uh, could take uh, just a few minutes. So we do want to be ready to come out of that hold whenever we uh, we go clear with the weather. I understand. Uh, Lock team, we're going to proceed down to five. We will not perform APU pre-start. Uh, we'll pick up at nine, and we'll go down to five and hold at five. GLS. Pick up the count on your mark. GLS copies. Clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. And we are at T minus nine minutes and counting with the anticipation of bringing it down to T minus five minutes and holding for the weather to clear. The NASA test director, Al Sopchi, is about to call for the transmittal of the stored pre-launch commands. About as soon as we get into it. Uh, copy. NTDSB 212. Go ahead, SB. We have no pending hold set right now for T-5. Do you want one? That's an 80. I copy. TLT OTC. Configure fuel cell essential bus door switches. That's an work. SRO NTD. SRO NTD. NTD SRO, go ahead. Stand by SRO. PLT, go ahead. Essential buses are connected to fuel cell. Copy, thanks. GLS go for OAA retract. And we have a go for the orbiter access arm to be retracted from away from the uh, shuttle Columbia. This uh, access arm can be returned to position and allow the crew to exit the orbiter in just a matter of a few seconds if need be. T-minus six minutes and counting. Go ahead. Perform APU pre-start. APU pre-start is in work. APU pre-start is in work, and it appears that we will not be holding at T-minus five minutes, that we will be able to complete the count this morning. I second verify.
SOTC, PLT, APU pre-starts complete, three grade talkbacks. Copy, PLT. Pilot Bauer, Sox reports that the pre-start of the our auxiliary power unit says complete. T minus five minutes and counting. Go for orbiter, APU start. And we have a go for APU start. APU start. APU start and work. TDR, OTC. Sierra Rica Peg is complete, OTC. Copy. OTC, PLT, APU starts complete. Copy. And we've got three good APUs up and running. The SRB and external tank safe and arm devices have been armed. Main fuel valve heaters on the three shuttle main engines have been turned on in preparation for launch today. T minus four minutes and counting. A final test of the flight control surfaces is now being conducted on the orbiter Columbia. T minus three minutes, 30 seconds and counting. We're currently transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. The final air surface checks of the orbiter's flaps and rudder have been completed, and the three main engines have been gimbled for a final test for launch. T minus three minutes and counting. All is continuing to go well for today's launch of Space Shuttle Columbia. Let's go for ET LO2 pressurization. And we have a go for pressurization of the liquid oxygen tank located inside, inside the external tank. PLT OTC. Go ahead. Clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. Caution and warning memory closing and work. The orbiter test conductor has requested that pilot Bauer Sox clear the caution and warning memory system, and that is currently in work. Nothing out of the ordinary. All is ready to fly today. Copy. Copy. The liquid hydrogen replenishment is now being terminated. And Columbia OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate oxygen flow. And the flight crew has been instructed to close their sun visors. Okay, visor is 02, and we'll see you all in a couple of weeks. Copy that, Ken. GLS go for ET LH2 pressurization. T minus one minute, 45 seconds, and counting. Everything continues to look good for launch today. In about 90 seconds, we'll see the release of nearly 7 million pounds of thrust as the Shuttle Columbia begins its record breaking 13 day mission. One minute, 30 seconds. T minus one minute, 15 seconds. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at flight pressure. T minus 60 seconds and counting. T minus 45 seconds, coming up on a go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start.
Columbia's four onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20. T minus 20 seconds. 15. T minus 15. 12. 10. 9. 8. We have a go for main engine start. 4. 3. 2. 1. 0. And liftoff of the Space Shuttle Columbia and the first extended duration mission, a stepping stone to space station freedom. Roger, roll, Columbia. Houston now controlling. Columbia's rolled to the proper upside-down position, putting the crew with heads down to see the horizon and putting Columbia on course for its planned orbit.